Pistons fans, what's going on? It's your boy King, man. Nothing too big today. Just got to hit y'all with a couple of things real quick. Fresh off work. Beautiful, beautiful Monday here in Michigan, man. This weather is absolutely amazing. But you know, I got to give it to you, man. I got to hit you guys by any means necessary, whether it be in the car, whether it be in the store. I don't even care where I'm at, man. I got to give it to you guys. So um, we got to talk about this Miles Bridges situation. You know, we talked about the Aiden thing. The reports came out. Um, that the Pistons may not be, be pursuing Aiton, obviously because of us acquiring Duran. Uh, they, like I said, they're not gonna just throw Duran into the fire, but at the same time, for what he provides, it, it's not gonna take him as long to develop, um, you know, as much as we think, you know what I'm saying? For what he provides and what he does with his athleticism, his blocking shots and things like that, I think he does, um, you know, be able, he, he will be able to fill that role in a little bit quicker than some of us think he will. But there's a, another thing that's been going on, a big thing, something, you know, like I told you guys in the stream that I didn't even believe was possible a couple months ago. I was laughing at the fact that people thought that it could happen. But Miles Bridges, man, you know, Miles Bridges coming home would be absolutely amazing. I'm not even going to lie to you. It would. It really would. Um, Charlotte is not offering him a max. That was confirmed. Watch that live on TV, on ESPN. <laughs> so at first it was just some rumors, speculations. First people were posting his friend's Instagram where his friend said, you know, if he doesn't get the max from Charlotte, then he's coming to Detroit. So he took that post down. He edited, well, he edited the post. Um, it took that out of the post. But, you know, now we got real confirmation from ESPN. This is a real thing. This is a real thing. So the reports about Detroit and, and Indiana being the two teams that are, um, you know, most likely uh, going to be, well, threats to steal Miles Bridges from the Charlotte Hornets, um, you know, I, it's, it's been validated now. So obviously if they don't move, you know, Gordon Hayward, they're not just, they're not going to have the room. They're not going to have the room. So, you know, with that said, this is very, very interesting. We are right here. It's free agency season. You know, Thursday. I cannot wait to Thursday, man. I, I, I man. I, <laughs> that, that is the the final part for. I would say, you know, this part of this off season, man. That's the final pieces right there. So, you know, I'm looking forward to that. That is very, 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 very high on my schedule this week. It's getting and in, digging into this free agency, man. Because these reports and these. These things are about to get ready to, to amplify over these next couple of days. It's Monday right now, so you can expect more and more reports, more and more things to come out. So, you know, it's only exciting. It is only exciting, man. And I'm looking forward to it. So if Miles Bridges came here, it would be crazy. You will be looking at Isaiah Stewart and Miles Bridges and Duran, along with Bagley. Uh, those reports also came out today. Uh, shout out to Mr. James Edwards III. Um, but it's every, all, all signs point to the Pistons, uh, you know, retaining Mr. Bagley. So Mr. Bagley will be in town. So that's probably where you're not hearing anything about this Aiden situation no more. It's probably why they're going to shy away from it because of them having the idea of Isaiah Stewart, Duran, Marvin Bagley, and whoever they bring in free, uh, free agency. So. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happened with that situation. Also, another thing came out today that I mentioned in the screen. Um, Diallo, Hamadou Diallo, the, the the team most likely are going to pick up that uh, option. But at the same time, they're most likely not going to pick up Frank Jackson's. So I mentioned that um, you guys asked and I told you in the stream, I thought that Frank Jackson would be the odd man out. Well, it's looking like that's true. Uh, according to Mr. James Edwards, that's true. So, you know, that came out today um, as we shaped this roster. Also reports about Malik Monk. Uh, you know, Malik Monk being, what, 24 years old, I believe. Um, a shooter, you know what I'm saying, that you can add to your roster. So we'll, we'll see what we'll see what happens. We'll see where this round, rounds out. I'm looking forward to it. I'm ready to get into it. Like I said, I just did. I just wanted to come and chat with you guys about this because, like, it's it's, it's amplified, man. Constantly back to back to back to back tweet alerts. 
um, and, and, you know, chat sports and CBS sports and ESPN bleacher report phone been going crazy, man, over the last two days. So, you know, I had to bring this to you guys. Um, I just wanted to, you know, wait a little bit so we can get some more official, uh, sources, you know, and once ESPN, uh, queued that up on TV, speaking about miles bridges contract situation and that Charlotte hasn't offered him a, uh, you know, a max, yeah, definitely had to dig in. You know what I'm saying? So with that said, leave it in the comments, man. Adding Miles Bridges. What do you think about that? You know what I'm saying? Adding that athleticism. Miles Bridges definitely, uh, you know, has worked on his jump shot. He definitely has worked on his jump shot, but he has the ability to put the ball on the floor as well. Um, and he's very uh, uh, athletic defensively. So bringing him into a Dwayne Casey type of system where obviously they're going to amplify you know, players defensively. What do you think of that? What do you think about bringing Miles Bridges here uh, to Detroit, bringing him home, having him play along, you know, de alongside the young guys that we already have? You know, he fits right in with, you know, um, our, our timeline and our core. So, you know, I'm interested to know what you guys think about that. Um, obviously, I already see what a lot of people really thought about that Aiden situation, including myself. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but if it still happened, I wouldn't be upset. But like I said, I wasn't the biggest fan of it. So with that said, leave it in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. I'm getting ready to hit this car wash <laughs> and um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.